What's up guys, welcome back to the channel, this is your boy J to the uh, J. And in today's video, we are going to be talking about folder tracks. So what is a folder track? A folder track is a way for you to clean up your workspace. Now, if all you have is a few little tracks like these, you really don't need this feature. You really don't need it at all. But if you have 50, 60, 30 tracks, and especially if you're not using a real big monitor, you will want to use a folder track. Now here's where they come in handy. Let's say, for example, this is not the case, but let's say all of these tracks were drum tracks. You're done with the drum tracks. You don't need to do no more editing or whatnot. You've already mixed them and whatnot. And really that doesn't even matter and I'll show you why. But you're done with the arrangement of these particular tracks and you don't want to see them. Well, that's when you want to use a folder track to kind of clean it up. In this particular example, we'll leave this last track open so you can see what it looks like. So what you want to do to create that folder track is click the first track that you want to use. And then you want to go down to the last track that you want in the folder track, hold down shift and click that one. And as you can see, all of those are now highlighted. Now, what you can do is two ways to do it. You can right click on any one of those tracks in the group. That'll bring up this menu. Go all the way down to pack folder. Boom. Now all of those tracks are in this folder. Now imagine if you have 20 tracks, but now you're just looking at four folders. That's definitely going to clean up your workspace. Now you can't see it with this particular color that it defaulted to, but you can see bars uh, th that indicates each individual track. So if you want need to know where you are within the song, you can tell that. You can easily tell that because you can see the spaces, you know, especially if it's a media, you can see that. Now, let's say you say you forgot to do something and you need to see those tracks again. There's a couple of quick ways that you can do that. You can right click on that track again and just click expand folder. And the easiest way to tell which tracks were in that particular group is Go all the way over to the left and you will see that these particular tracks are indented from the folder. This is the folder track, main track. This is the track that we did not group. See how it goes all the way out. Now notice that the tracks that we did group, they are indented just like, just like uh, 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 bullet points. Now you're tired of looking at it. So you're ready to go back and, uh, close it down so you want to right click again and just click expand folder track again and now it's gone now the other way that I mentioned earlier is just as easy you want to go all the way over to the left and there's a little arrow click that little arrow boom there they are boom there they gone so now you are probably wondering did it do the same on the mixer no it did not you can still see each individual track so that's what I was talking about earlier. So if you now you're ready to mix, you're good to go. You can still mix each individual track and it does not affect it. Boom. There you have it. There you don't. And there are several other things that you can do with these folder tracks. But for now, we're going to keep it real simple and just show you how to make them. Let me know what you think about this video. And make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. This your boy. Peace.